Cardinal Nassi. The Sith are threatening to overrun our position. We can't hold out long against their firepower. All hands to the bridge! Nasi on your personal communicator. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire's life support systems. Basilisk escape pod is away. You're the last surviving crew member on the Endar Spire. Now I can't wait for you much longer. You have to get to the escape pods. Oh, my God. 
Be careful. There's a whole squad of Sith troopers on the other side of that door. You need to find some way to thin their numbers. Just in time. There's only one active escape pod left. Come on, we can hide out on the planet below. Basila's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on. There'll be time for questions later. Whoa, hold on. Don't try and get up yet. You were smashed up pretty bad when we crash landed here on Terrace. Don't worry, we should be safe here in this apartment. I gave you something to help you sleep. Just get some rest and let the coal topax do their job. Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever going to wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you in the escape pod. Do you remember? I'm not surprised. You took a serious blow to the head. You're probably having all kinds of strange dreams. I wouldn't worry too much about it. You've been slipping in and out of consciousness for a couple of days now, so I imagine you're pretty confused about things. But try not to worry. We're safe. At least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. We were banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed, but luckily I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site and all the confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived on the scene, we were long gone. Terrace is under Sith control. Their fleet is orbiting the planet, they've declared martial law, and they've imposed a planet-wide quarantine. But I've been in worse spots. There is no way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're gonna find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. Bastila's gonna need our help. Many of Darth Malak's followers can use the dark side of the Force, and the Sith have already killed more than their share of Jedi in this war. She's gonna have half the Sith fleet looking for her. They know how important she is to the war effort. The whole planet is under quarantine. No ships can land or take off. So if Basil's gonna escape Terrace, she's gonna need our help, and we'll probably need hers. While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of skate pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. But the Undercity's a dangerous place. We don't wanna go there unprepared, and it won't do Basil any good if we go and get ourselves killed. Good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. We can probably get some equipment and supplies here in the upper city. Just remember to keep a low profile. Yes, what's on your mind? Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. Seen more than my share of wars. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. 
But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter of these sick animals coming Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop them. It shouldn't be my fault. I did everything I could. I followed my orders and did my duty. That, that shouldn't mean I failed them. I, I didn't. No, I, I know. Don't worry about it. I just, I'm... It must not be making much sense. You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action, keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. Right, you alien scum. Everybody, get up against the wall! This is a raid! That's how we sit deal with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you, get up against the wall before I lose my temper again! What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives! Attack! Kuya Who are you? That's no excuse. You can't just go around barging into people's apartments because you're curious. But at least you're more polite than that pig, Holden. Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. I, I don't want to talk. Well, I suppose you seem like an all right sort. When I cut Holden, it made him back off, but it also embarrassed him in front of his friends. Holden's a spiteful little hut slug. He went and put out a bounty on my head for what I did. That's why I'm hiding out here. I can't. Good. Don't hate one, Jiji, don't blue bar. Nita poetic it all. 
dolpa da bonqualeo gandona chuchu kachi chu ita dundonga yumalita kuto tun chilamula ne nindu bobo wonga kumbis chang ba mulira ronda di hotonga kun honga bi wonga kumbis and I can tell you from experience that they aren't any good at all against a simple vibroblade. That's why the Republic has been training soldiers in hand-to-hand -hand and melee combat. Tag this you bong chan we Chi gratu loda bograt Pudu, Tony Rama na praka donko tsercha, chupa panki. My name's Kadir. I'm the janitor for this building. You must be the new tenant here, right? Eh? Mm. You look like an off-worlder. What happened? Don't know how much... Decent enough place to live, I guess, except for the lower levels. That's where the swoop... Just keep following the apartment complex ring until you come to... I should... Yes, what's in your I'm all ears, beautiful. Which, the fact that I'm all ears, or the beautiful part? I might consider it, but what are you gonna call me in exchange? I like the first part of that, I'm a bit more partial to the most handsome pilot in the galaxy. Well then, I guess gorgeous will just have to do until then. Well, kidding aside, I bet you're not about to give up on those question timers. Are they really necessary? Oh, well, it's an interrogation you wanted. Why don't you say so? I was just joking, though you do seem to be full of questions. It's rather refreshing, to be honest. Let me ask you something first. I've been going through the battle of the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened. 
from your perspective. True. Basta is as powerful as I say. She's the one who defeated Darth Revan, after all. Mm. I guess that no Jedi ability, no matter how powerful, makes up for being completely surprised and outmatched. We didn't choose that battle anyway. It got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? Don't be ridiculous. You've more than proved yourself since the crash. We wouldn't have made it this far without you, but still. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value, however, and I hate surprises. I mean, I have to expect the unexpected, just to be safe. Look, it has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone. No reasons. And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? All right, all right. You must be the most damn persistent woman I've ever met. We'll talk about it, but later. Right now, I just want to get going. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got it. Well, well, mostly. What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons, and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're in. Uh. Anything good to say about those things? The Sith. Oh, damn it! After careful. David hates. <laughs> I can't. Good day. Now I can't pay him. Are you joking? You don't need this guy's credits. Just go on. I'm getting out of here before any more of Davik's goons show up. See from Europe. Europe. 
A terrible affliction has plagued Terrace. Prolonged exposure to the Undercity breed... Mm, there is no antidote. They overran the military base, and now they refuse to allow... If I could just get my hand... I don't see. I suppose that... But I... Please, don't say that! I only... I am... <laughs> I know. So far, all they've done is ask me some general... I guess there's not much I can do about the Sith. I am quite... Republic. The Sith were already... I am quite... Rep the Sith were all... I am... Republic is... I'm not... Well, you don't look like you're with the Sith. Since the space battle overhead, people have been secretly bringing in these Republic soldiers who crash-landed on the planet. I had to take them in. What choice did I have? Their injuries are terrible. Most won't survive. But at least I can make their last days more comfortable. And at least here, they're hidden away from the Sith. Well, for that, you have my thanks. It's good to know that at least some of these men ended up in compassionate hands. I hate to imagine what the Sith would do if they discovered these soldiers here. Thank you. I'm a... interested in anything that can Davik is the if you You ain't supposed to be here. I remember when a person didn't have to worry. Don't! Don't hurt my family. Look, just take what you want and get out.
Please, here. You mean you're not? I knew you. Yes, what's you got it. Yes, what's on your you got it. Don't do anything stupid. We don't have no trouble with this stuff. Oh, yeah. You're right. <laughs> Sorry about this, shitty. <laughs> Come on, fellas, let's go. I am. That is why I. Yes. Listen to me, people. There is a terrible
Don't you just love Body law? You don't. If you're serious Hello there, just fifty credits and I'll sell you all. My name's Don't get me. I've won cut that. Uh -huh. Good luck. No. Sorry, but I'm not... I don't wear my uniform when I'm off duty. It's not allowed. The officers don't even like it when we show up here. Besides, the Sith don't own me. Being a... When I signed up, I was promised event... If I could just find some other way to earn some credit. What? Hey now, let's not stop making th The truth is, I find your offer rather tempting. I could probably get you some uniforms, but if we get caught, we're dead. They're asking me to take an awful risk. If I'm going to do this, it's going to cost you. Hmm, 100 credits. Okay, I'm going to a party. We're in this to I'm not giving you your credits back. Um, here. I'll add the address. I'll go make all the arrangements and I'll see you at the party tonight. Just remember, if you get caught with those uniforms, I don't know you. What? Why are you... Get away from me. Well, hello there. What do you think of our local music? Obviously, you have an ear for music. Would you like? They have a stand. Well, if you. The exact. You spets. Isn't this band great? They can't leave Terrace because of the sick quarantine. Did you? Why is there? That's better. Now, hurry up. And here are your drinks, Miss Lack. Taras isn't such a bad place. I'm not here to chat. I just finished a long shift at the military base, and now I'm just looking to. I can't believe we couldn't get. Who cares? They're about to start, so quit complaining and just watch the view screen. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now, I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll. In this corner, I give you Gerlon Tufinger. And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever-persistent Jedi Duncan! <laughs> and to nobody's great spell, that was quick!
Gyro blades. This is for the best. Ladies and gentlemen, you've seen him lose night after night after night, but this time he's after fresh meat and in the other corner, a relative new. Talk to a Jew. He's in charge. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Wonder if you you have to try this trip. Careful, Sana. That wine's. Who cares? We're not on. Walks on 
Kibona.
I'm not looking for any trouble with the Sith, all right? Please, just let me be. Ready. What? Kipuna, puna na kachu, kimba no muli na na tuana, tuni basu nek, kava. 
Kipuna! Kipuna! Kipuna na ikachu! Kipuna! What? As no joke. If you're yes, what's up? You do. Well, fair enough. What do you want? <laughs> you're probably one of the most skilled women I've ever met. You've saved my butt, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop watching you being. Maybe so, but I don't know that. You Is that your idea of an... Oh, ouch. Well, I guess I did. Good, well then maybe we can talk reasonably, but all I've been trying to say is this isn't personal. If you were smart... I don't need to be in. No, I don't... Why? We don't have time for this. Go away. Get book one. Oscar. Two. Two. Three. You to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like bantha. Who you calling little girl? Just a sec, boy. 
guys. Sawbar, a little help here? I need you to rip the legs off some insects. <laughs> Quit complaining. You can finish eat. You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. <laughs> Say, it's not that strange. Most aliens can speak basic. They just prefer to use their own language. But I grew up on Terra, so I just. You showed a lot of guts dealing with. My name's. Mi we just. Come so we. Know when I. Well. We just. So when I. Kalinor. He hangs. I think. Davik. I don't. Where we if Dav. There's only. Are led by not you go. Well, can't you think of it? <laughs> <Get you up. laughs>